Dear Baltimore, I have a bone to pick with you. I thought we had an agreement that you would protect my tax dollars from political leeches and corporate tapeworms. Instead, you have allowed them to suck every penny from my pockets and feed themselves from the belly of my household. And now I stand before you pissed and disrespected by this latest fiasco to satisfy my needs. Did you really think that investing millions of dollars into high-speed races known as the Baltimore Grand Prix would be beneficial in any way to my household? Unfortunately, the profits the large corporations located downtown will not reach my savings account. Therefore, you have allowed these hyenas to capture my hard-earned meal. Why not invest in school construction or skate parks so our skaters won't be harassed by cops? Or wouldn't this money be better used building homes for the homeless and employing Baltimoreans to do so? But Baltimore is dying. And you have set extra plates at the table for vultures executing optical illusions with its left and right wings. Be not fooled and hearken to my voice. Have I been bad to you, Baltimore? Did I not speak up for your children when they needed jobs for the summer? Did I not urge you against re-electing Martin O'Malley for governor. Now I'm telling you, do not support this Grand Prix. I don't remember anyone asking you, Baltimore, could they spend this money? Are you not pissed? Will you accept this misinvestment? When the Grand Prix is over and you see the remnant of tire tracks, ask yourself, where did you financially benefit? But only ask this if you do nothing to stop it. But will you wait too late, Baltimore? With love, justice. P.S. You don't have to wait until the circus comes into town to see a bunch of clowns. Just go to the city council. Ghosts.